And there are places definitely where you're there and time seems to stand still. You could imagine yourself being in 1830 in a herd of buffalo um, or a First Nations community, you know, moving cr across the landscape with their horses and trevois. Most of it still looks that natural and it still is that beautiful to me and I, many others feel the same way. History was made in 2014 when the Nature Conservancy of Canada announced the completion of the largest conservation easement in Canadian history. Along with the Waldron Grazing Cooperative Limited, NCC will conserve almost 31,000 acres of natural ranching lands in the eastern slopes of Alberta. So I think ranchers, when we first approached them as an organization called the Nature Conservancy, they struggled to, to I think, understand, well, what did we really want? And um, did we just really want to tell them what to do and how to manage their affairs? And really, we were not interested in, in that. All we really wanted to achieve is an agreement that would maintain that land in the current condition that it's in or better. Meaning that they couldn't cultivate the rangelands, they couldn't drain the wetlands, they couldn't divert the streams. Not that they really wanted to anyway. They're in the business of maintaining those landscapes as ranchers. This was the first opportunity since the late 1800s to conserve this landscape for all time. Ensuring the protection of the natural land and headwaters that includes streams and rivers that provide water for millions of Canadians and countless wildlife species. Beneath these rangelands lie pipelines that for over half a century have reliably carried the natural gas to heat homes and businesses for customers in the Pacific Northwest, California, Nevada and Western Canada. We're looking at the Waldron Ranch where our pipelines cross. Uh, it's one of the hugest tracts of land uh, of natural prairie that's left in Alberta. It goes through the Crow's Nest Pass, down past Fernie, Moye, and into Kingsgate. There are three pipes in there, um, foothills and the two Trans-Canada lines. So the lines come down, cross the road here, and then into the station here. Controls technician Richard Shackleton has worked for Trans-Canada for 26 years. He says the Turner Valley Compressor Station, located north of the Waldron, has worked hard to be a good neighbour. A lot of people don't even know there's a pipeline underneath it. We're keeping things as natural as we can. The outstanding conservation value of this big space, we didn't feel was, uh, the, the presence of the pipeline didn't diminish our interest in trying to see it conserved. They reseed the right of ways so that, you know, the vegetation and that all comes back naturally and you can't even tell where the right-of-ways are lots of times unless you see those posts. I think they do an awesome job you know with the environment and trying to keep it the way it was. With TransCanada we've worked with groups trying to find if there's a way we can re-establish rough fescue on the on the grasses and we haven't always been successful but at least we've tried different methods to see if we can get the native species to come back. And I don't think every company does that, but uh, it shows that TransCanada does care about our environment. Members of the Waldron Grazing Cooperative are the driving force behind the initiative, with the largest contribution to the project. When it came to raising the funds to protect this piece of land, the federal and provincial governments were on board, along with the Calgary Foundation and other major sponsors. As a longtime supporter of the Nature Conservancy of Canada and an active member in this working landscape, TransCanada also came to the table with a donation to support this momentous conservation act. We had the Walter Ranching and the NCC and TransCanada and I think all three parties want to see, like take a look at this view. We'd like to save this for our grandchildren, their grandchildren, and if you can have a pipeline going across and not hinder anything, I think everybody's happy. The Blackfoot controlled an enormous amount of territory and they had a, their deity was Nappy. This was Nappy's playground and for this, of all places, to be called Nappy's Playground makes me think that it's probably one of the most special places that, that, uh, that exists within that region. In a lot of instances, we go above and beyond what we really have to, to keep the environment as natural as, we, as, it, as it was before we came in there. So, no, I think TransCanada does a good job. 
since we've actually purchased the Waldron, I've, or an easement on the Waldron, I've been on it a couple of times, and in each case, I've come away thinking, feeling that the property was more beautiful than I imagined. I've, I've got more joy from doing this project than any project I've been involved in in 25 years.